Okay, so we've been um, working on sketching lately, and uh, now we're working on contour line drawing. So sketch is one of our drawing techniques that we're studying, um, and you've done that with the animal drawings. The, you know, there was that bird we practiced. And with a sketch, we started with axis lines. We drew in lines, uh, put in basic shapes, refined our drawing and built it up. And, and we had all these loose searching lines on the way trying to figure it out. Um, we're taking a different tack, a different approach uh, with contour line drawing. Um, so contour line, contour is basically the major features. And whereas with a sketch, we, we use lots of movement and lots of lines and lots of drawings as we build our drawing up. With contour line, we're, we're very direct. And we're doing what some of you kind of instinctively like to do, uh, which is um, just making a solid line. Uh, the reasons for contour line drawing, um, the most important reason is it's an excellent way to start to train your eye and your hand and your brain to work together so that when you observe something that you're drawing, um, you can draw what you see instead of what you believe. Because uh, sometimes what you believe and what you think you see isn't actually the truth. Your brain can kind of trick and confuse you. Um, so we're gonna do, we talked about, hopefully you've looked through that presentation and taken the notes on contour line drawing. Um, and I'm gonna demonstrate uh, how we're gonna do this next assignment where we're going to apply all four approaches to contour line drawing. Um, if you remember from the presentation, pure contour line drawing was just the outline only. Now when I draw, I am going to look at my subject the entire time that I'm drawing. I'm not going to uh, um, look, glance at it and then come over here and draw and try to draw it from memory. That is, well, a lot of, a lot of you will have that instinct and want to do that. Um, but the best thing to do is continuously look at your subject. You've got to train yourself to do that. You've got to force yourself to do that. Um, pretend the tip of this pencil is my eye. Now, I'm going to, uh, with my eye as I draw, follow along a line that I'm looking at. And as my eye is looking at it, and let's say I'm pointing at it, let's say the tip of this pencil is my eye, and I'm pointing at what I want to draw. And while I'm drawing it, my pen and my eye are working together at the same time so that my pen draws what my eye is looking at as my eye looks at it. That is the goal here. And again, this is a really excellent exercise um, for coordinating, for developing coordination between your brain, your eye, and your hand. Pure contour line drawing is just the outline. Uh, and when you do contour line drawing, I'm gonna start, it doesn't really matter where you start, but I'm gonna start, I guess, from the back here. And when you do pure contour line drawing, uh, any contour line drawing, you wanna draw pretty slowly. And I'm going to also ask you to draw with a continuous line for this. Now you can't really see my eyes and my head, but I assure you that I am moving the tip of this marker in conjunction with what I am looking at on this piggy bank as I look at it. Now, I don't expect you to be perfect. I don't expect you to be, uh, you know, crazy coordinated, especially these first times you're doing this. This is gonna be a new experience for you. It's gonna be maybe a little uncomfortable, a little bit awkward, but I'm using a continuous line my eye is slowly tracing over that pig. Pretend like your eye is an ant and the ant is walking around the outer edges and your marker, your Sharpie, your pencil, whatever you're using. I'd like you to use a Sharpie for this if you have one, but if you don't, but that's fine, you can use a pencil. Um, and uh, you're just following that ant with your marker as you look. And I am looking at this 95% of the time and looking at my paper just to make sure that my hand's still kind of in the right spot. So that's pure contour, it's just the outline, it's the easiest one. Um, 
Next is modified. Modified contour is not only the outline, but also uh, the interior shapes, the major features. If there's some major shadow shapes that you see, you can include those. I'm not gonna worry about these words on here. I'm just gonna deal with the form, the shape of the overall object. Um, so when you draw whatever you're gonna draw, and for most of you, I encourage you just to maybe get an interesting fruit or vegetable out of your refrigerator, something you know that's got a little bit of challenge but isn't too challenging for you right away, uh, unless you're a more experienced, advanced artist. And if you wanna get a more complex object, then by all means, go for it. Um, for this modified one, I think I'm gonna start somewhere in the middle. You don't have to start at the edges, although it's a place a lot of students want to start. Uh, and I also want to kind of point out, if this looks different to you than this does, you're looking at it from this angle of view, I'm looking at it from this angle of view. So what I'm seeing is different than what you're seeing right now. So I'm gonna start with this ear, and I'm looking, again, looking at it from this angle here. And I'm gonna draw this inside of the ear. I'm gonna use a continuous line and I'm gonna kind of guesstimate where I wanna put it. When you draw yours, um, I'd like you to draw at least close to life size, the actual size of the object you're drawing. Don't draw really small. Um, at least close to life size, or even a little bigger would be better. Now again, I'm drawing really slowly, and I'm continuously looking at my subject only looking back to make sure my hand's in the right place. Now, I want to go over to this other ear here, but I want you to use a continuous line. So even though there is no real line going across there, I'm just going to let my marker go ahead and walk on over. And I'm going to draw and continue drawing. Again, continuously. I'm gonna beat you to death with this, but continuously looking at what you draw as you draw it. A little dark area in there, I'm gonna come back around. Now you can retrace your steps, I'm gonna to need to when I come back up to connect this shape. I'm gonna to need to retrace my steps as I come down, that's okay. There's a snout shape here, a little shadow on the side. Always looking at the subject, just returning. Now there's these little nostrils here. Even though there's not a line leading up to the nostrils, I'm going to just still can use my continuous line Follow that ant walking around. I'm gonna do the same as I come up to the eyes here. You don't need to shade anything in. Continue walking, taking this walk. The leg is down here. Now I would like you to work as slowly as I'm working, or even slower, that would be fine too. If you need to take a little break, my, you know, I'm drawing sitting up here. This isn't gorgeous here, but um, my arm starts to hurt after a little while. So if you need to you know, lift your hand and take a break, that's fine. But go back to the same spot and continue your drawing. Continuously looking, drawing what you see as you see it. So modified means that you've got not just the outline outside, but also major details, major features. This isn't gorgeous, it's not perfect. If I did this again, I think I could do a better job. My proportions are a little off, but that's okay. I got the major features in here. Um, if uh, I notice, uh, you know, there's a little shadow underneath here 
I wanted to include that shadow shape, I could. Um, I know I'm cheating a little bit. I didn't have that continuous line. Um, so contour line. Now that's modified. I'm not proud of that one right there. Uh, but you get the gist. I got the major features. I've got some interior shapes and details. Um, next I'm going to do blind. Now blind is one that a lot of students struggle with. And if you turn in a blind one and it looks that good, you did it wrong. <laughs> um, blind means you are not looking at the paper at all. You are only, only looking at your subject and your paper is going to be blocked. And I'm going to go ahead and poke a hole in this piece of paper so I can do it blind. I encourage you to do the same thing. Go ahead and uh, see if you can do this and cover up your work. And this is going to be uncomfortable. It's going to be weird. And you're like, why am I doing this? What's the point of this? Again, the point of this is to sync up your eye and your hand. And if part of my drawing ends up overlapping the other one, that's fine too. Um, but again, I'm syncing up my eye and my hand, drawing what I see as I see it. A lot of times I would have, if you were in class, I'd have you warm up with this because this blind contour more than any other really helps make those neural connections, those pathways in your brain that program your brain to make things a habit. Like when I say neural pathway, like when you ride a bike, you don't think about riding a bike. You just get on the bike and you go. You don't have to sit there and go, okay, where do I put my feet? How do I move forward again? How do I brake? You just do it. Because your brain has been trained to do these things enough that it's become habit. Same with writing. Um, writing is just drawing. Uh, when you were a little kid, when you are in the first grade, and you first started drawing uh, or writing, um, you know, you had to think about every little mark and what direction the D faces versus the Q and the P and, and you know, you'd get things backwards and you had to think about every little mark you made as you worked when you were a little kid. Now you just write. You don't think about it. You just write. And the reason for that is because you've programmed your brain by repeating it enough and practicing it enough and doing it enough that you can just do it now. Um, and that's the point of this exercise is teaching your brain to work with your eye and work with your hand to draw what you see as you see it it's the very best practice that I know of there may be other things but it's the very best practice that I know of to teach you how to actually draw accurately and art students have been practicing this um, as long as there's, as, as long as, uh, at least for the last few hundred years. And it's a tradition. You'll do this in college. You'll do this anywhere you go. Um, and so you see that's not perfect. If you look at some areas, you might be able to recognize that that's one of the ears and that's one of the ears. And there's that snout and there's the eye and the eye. You can see the feet down there. But it's not perfect. It's all messed up. But here's the thing. The goal of blind contour drawing is not to make a beautiful finished artwork that you're going to hang up on your house uh, in frame. Yeah, I mean, you might decide you like it and want to do it, but that's not the goal. This is pure brain exercise, pure exercise in syncing and coordinating and establishing neural pathways to get your, your brain, your hand, and your eye to work together when you draw. Um, the last one we're going to do is cross contour. And this one's a little bit more challenging. And I'm gonna show you what I mean by this. Cross contour, with modified contour, you're just looking at the lines that you see. So you're drawing that line and that line, uh, that, you know, and wrapping your way around and that line there. Maybe you see the reflection there, you might draw that. Drawing that line, you're drawing the eye shape and the eye shape. So you're drawing the very specific contours, outlines, and details. With cross contour, you have to use a little bit of your imagination while still looking at the um, form. With cross contour, we're aiming to define form. 
So we want to make lines, this is a dry erase marker, that kind of wrap around that form and describe what it looks like. And again, hopefully you, uh, looked at the presentation and saw what I mean by this. And it could wrap in whatever direction, but it's, you know, kind of parallel lines. Uh, imagine if you wrapped something in wire um, and built a 3D model out of wire. So with your subject, if you have a dry erase marker, great. If you have a Sharpie and say you're drawing a banana as your subject or something, you could um, draw, you know, it could even continue to wrap. It can go both ways. It can go in different directions to create that illusion of form. Um, so, you know, you could draw on a banana. It's got a skin you're going to peel off and eat the inside anyway. So even if you had a, a Sharpie or a different kind of marker, you could do this to your banana. And I'm asking you to do, you know, if, we, if you were in class and we had a chance to practice doing this more, I would ask you to just kind of pre-visualize it or try to imagine it in your head. But I think the first time you do this, it could be kind of cool to do this so you can see how the lines might wrap around your subject. And I'm not going to get around this absolute entire pig, just the areas that I'm probably going to be able to see. You know, maybe I have some wrapping around this way too. Almost like putting a grid on it. Of course, you don't have to grid everything, but you know, some parallel lines. And, uh, and now when you draw, you can look at these lines and they'll give you something to follow. And there's a little bit more detail in there, but now I'm gonna do this and I'm, I'm gonna work a little bit faster than I did. Actually, I'm gonna grab another piece of paper here so I have a little more room than just this small area here. When you do yours, go ahead and do yours on like four different sheets of paper. Don't feel like you have to, but label which type it is. So I still want you to label pure, modified, blind, cross contour um, with your artwork. So I'm gonna draw this one cross contour. And I know you might get a little bored watching these videos, so I'm gonna work a little bit faster than I might normally work if I was really trying to do my best at this. I'm gonna start in this face area here. I'm still gonna mostly do a continuous line. And I'm getting these major features in here, but I'll start to come in. And like I said, th this pig is a little bit complex. Switch hands, my arm is getting tired. This pig's a little bit complex. If you uh, wanted to, you know, I, I recommended some kind of fruit or vegetable. Um, and I have some examples that show uh, fruits and vegetables doing cross contour in their presentation. You can probably find some online as well. Now I'm looking at the angles. I haven't, I'm not just making, again, I'm not just making this up. I'm not just inventing this. I'm, I'm looking the whole time at my subject that I'm drawing as I draw it. Looking the whole time. Let's 
Now, your first assignment, your object is to draw an object using all four of these techniques of these approaches to contour line drawing. I don't love this area in here, but that's all right. Process over product. Um, notice how the lines curve and wrap. Um, and there's some videos in that presentation as well that show you some things. I really would like you to watch those as well for some uh, additional uh, uh, instruction um, and other examples. So that's it, Car uh, contour line drawing. So I need one of each type, um, pure, just the outline, modified outline, but also major details and interior shapes. Uh, blind, not looking at all. It should look wacky when you're done. If it looks too good, I'm gonna question you. Uh, and then cross contour, where um, if you want to, you can take a dry erase marker or Sharpie, and, or you can just use your eye and your imagination and try to wrap that. Um, it, that is possible, it is doable. Um, so there you go. That's, that's what I'm looking for in this assignment.